I'm Kyle Meredith. I've been promising Young the Giant. I've got some of them in the studio. Welcome to Louisville, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. we got Samir, Francois, and Eric. It's uh, great to have you guys. You'll be playing next door to us at the Louisville Palace with uh, Cold War Kids and was it Joy Waves, mm-hmm. the other band? Yep. Mm-hmm. That's a heck of a lineup right there. Oh, yeah. That's a, it's sort of like a ringer. It's, it's hard to call anybody, you know, the opener or the closer at that point. So it's we love you guys. And, and again, we're really happy to have you here. I, I think it... Maybe the last time you were in town, you were playing on 4th Street, just down the road. Yeah, I think right? so. Yeah, I so. Think so. It's been a little bit, but the new record's out, Home of the Strange, and that's that's a title that sort of sets it up right there, I'm guessing. I mean, and especially your first track, America, which I know we're going to play here in a second, but if I had to guess, th- these are songs that were probably written before, like, I don't know, the election, but it seems like it plays into the whole concept of everything that was happening. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, it was it was written before the election, um, and we'd been traveling a lot at the time, playing a lot of college shows, and um, you could kind of sense the tension um, in every college campus, and on every college campus, and for us as well, coming from different backgrounds, um, you know, we figured it would It'd be interesting to be able to share a bit of our story that also kind of tied in with uh, the immigrant experience in America. Yeah, I, and that's something that I don't know. Most rock bands, I guess, don't have, especially in in the in the genre that you guys sort of play in. I mean, that's you're bringing something in a part of the conversation, uh, a part of a, a very large conversation that I guess doesn't get talked about uh, as much. I don't know, in the rock world or whatever you want to call it. I mean, have you have you sensed that you guys are sort of leaders on this conversation? Uh, I, I don't think we're necessarily leaders. You know, there's in music in general, there's a, a history of, of trying to speak on something bigger than just getting drunk or I mean, clearly there's a, pl- there's <laughs> a place for that, too. But um, yeah, I, I think it's just we look at other artists and in, in, in different genres and, and from uh, different styles that are able to sort of uh, tap into, if not a message, just observing the world around them and, and trying to make a statement in their art. And that's always been something that we uh, strive for. And in the past, I think it's been easy to write about our experience in, in growing up and sort of like these terms, these uh, just normal things that everyone goes through it in your early 20s. And as we started to kind of see the world around us um, through touring and, and, and meeting different people, it became apparent to us that we actually had kind of an interesting perspective on on what's going on around us right now so uh yeah it came we started well before the election but like samir said there were kind of signs of you know it's been around forever but it's it really felt like something was coming to a head yeah going into something like that you know what do you guys do? do do you talk about that beforehand you're like you know what we've got a good idea of where this album's going to go thematically lyrically or is that just something that sort of comes out in the songwriting naturally uh, I think America, the song, was actually kind of the first moment when we realized there was a theme um, that we wanted to kind of portray on the record. And from there, once we wrote that song, we actually started steering some of the other songs um, and the newer songs that we were writing after that song kind of within that theme. Yeah. And then the election happens. I mean... <laughs> Yeah. Did, when did the a- actual album come out? The album came out in August of last year. So it was a little bit before. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you had time to go back in there and say, no, 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 there's more <laughs> <laughs> that I want to say. No. I um, mean, does anything happen to them live? Did, did, and just to resonate? And, did, we've really seen that with our fans, um, there's been a regeneration. Um, and you always want to see that, you know, having young kids come to the shows, seeing us for the first time, and singing along with with all the songs that aren't just the ones on the radio. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's something that's um, beyond, you know, you know, we have so much now. We have like the analytics of Spotify and all this stuff. But when something resonates with people in a live format, um, it can't really be replicated in any other way. And um, I think we've experienced that um, most definitely in the last, you know, two headlining tours that we've done for this, for this album. Yeah. Well, I think it was the perfect step for you guys. I mean, just... Like I said, it comes out swinging, and I love this record and where you guys are with the whole thing. And musically, too, I don't want to just harp on the lyrics and everything because, you know, it's like 
those hooks have to be carried by something dynamic and you can sort of get this all the way through the record so that's that's my compliments thanks. right there <laughs> thank, and you. thank so you much. That's awesome. um let's play a song in fact let's go ahead and play that track america and we'll get back and talk some more about uh, some of the other just released stuff Talking with Young the Giant here on 91.9 WFB Clay, FPK. They're playing tonight at the uh, Louisville Palace with Joy Wave and the Cold War Kids from the album Home of the Strange, America on FPK. Are you paying attention? Young the Giant, that is America from the new album Home of the Strange here on 91.9 WFPK. America with a K, just to point that out, make that fun. That's uh, well, it's from a novel, right? Yes, it's from Kafka's America. Yeah, unpublished. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was unpublished and then never finished. Never finished, that, that's what thing. I meant, yeah. That's the funny thing about like a lot of his novels, and most of them weren't really finished. Yeah, I was, I was reading... Um, I guess, I don't know, it was, a, it was something you shared online about novels and libraries and the institution of fiction and, and people just not really giving into it and paying attention in the way they thought. And I'd spend, I, I think I honestly was, because this was last night, I was kind of researching and everything, and I saw that as I was always coming out of the public library next to my house. So <laughs> I thought, well, that's a nice win for humanity, if yeah. nothing else, and that small little moment right yeah. there. So mm-hmm. I'll get behind you on that one. Young the Giant tonight at the uh, Louisville Palace. Get the details on that at WFPK.org. Um, speaking of Twitter, I was uh, another thing I saw that I just want to bring up, sort of <laughs> apropos to nothing that we were talking about, um, misheard lyrics. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I'm addicted to mayonnaise, but what can I do? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's, that's the- not misheard. That's a lyric. Yeah. We love mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> It's little yeah. things you don't know about Young the Giant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mayonnaise is that, one of those things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's funny because, you know, when you are in the studio with a song, you kind of, like, live it for such a long time, and you, like, it's us. And then when we share it with people, it takes on a whole new light, and even we almost see it objectively. Like, we kind of stop even listening to it when we release it. And then we go going back to it, I'm like, oh, my gosh. The, I think there was kind of an idea at the time where, like, you know, it sounds a little bit like mayonnaise. And we're like, no, no, it's fine. It sounds like madness. And then at the end, we're like, you know what? It does. And that's fine. You know, the, and there are there are a couple other reasons. Even with uh, cough syrup, back in the day, um, people used to think it was life's... Well, not, I don't know if they actually thought this, but life's too short to eat a carrot whole. That was one of... Uh, <laughs> Look at the baby carrots. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you pop those in your you mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Hummus. You guys go. do not advocate trying to eat a, a, a whole carrot, carrot whole. No. 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 Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Cough syrup and mayonnaise. That's uh, <laughs> it's it's two, the, it's two of our favorite. Real things. deep with the, These yeah, are a few the, of our the meaning of the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> did you know having that sophomore record? You know, with the, with the last one, did getting that out of the way help anything with this one? I mean, there's always so much pressure, and like especially for as big as the first record took off mm-hmm. and as quick as it did, it's almost. I, I know how that game is. Like, cool, you guys did it. Let's get the yeah. next one out. Like getting yeah. that out of the way, did that relieve anything going into the third one? I think, I, yeah. yeah, I think it, it definitely did. I think more than anything, it just sort of taught us about like the pace at which you should continue to work and write. Um, we finished the first album, then we were out on the road for essentially two album cycles, um, and then we were done. And we're like, all right, great, and it's like, oh, now you have to write another album. Like, okay, so there's no momentum in the writing. There's, you know, we really haven't talked about it much. We've been focusing so much on the live show and everything that's going on with the first record. So we were just kind of at this, like, dead weight, you know. Like, you have to have something going, and it just took such a long time to get the wheels moving again. So when the third record came around, we are like, we're not going to stop writing. After the second record, um, you know, with some breaks here and there, it's been pretty much like a nonstop flow of, wow. of writing. So you just roll right into it. Yeah. yeah, and worst case scenario, you end up with a bunch of songs in the bag, which is kind of like what happened with um, Mirrorball, the, the song we just recently released. Um, and with a little bit of time, a little bit more perspective, it's easier to see those songs for what they're worth. Um, and then, you know, if you end up with a bunch of not great songs and it's all right you just throw them away <laughs> <laughs> it's for the deluxe anniversary edition yes yeah, exactly. <laughs> so mirrorball you know it was kind of confusing at first so this just arrives you know to the streaming services but i guess it had been available sort of a little bit right yeah, yeah. well it was uh 
people were posting it on YouTube. We we I think we put it out on a ten inch vinyl with uh, the B side being uh, another rendition of our song Mind Over Matter. Mm-hmm. So it was actually um, it was Mirrorball was written for the second record, mm-hmm. and it yeah it didn't make the second record, and we just kind of realized we wanted to. I mean, we always wanted to put it out, but we just kind of realized it's like okay, we need to we need to put this out. So. Yeah. So it kind of gets its own thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's a good um, segue between the second and third album, maybe even lyrically and um, stylistically. Um, there are some parts that kind of are a good bridge in between the two. And um, I think it wasn't as much that we didn't like the song. I mean, we, we always loved the song, but it just didn't feel like it fit um, on the second album. And... I'm just really happy that we're able to finally share it. Yeah. yeah. It was a fun surprise when mm-hmm. that popped up and everything. So well let's let's play your mirror ball and I want to thank you guys again for dropping by the studio today. It's great having you back in Louisville. Young the Giant, again, they're playing tonight at the Louisville Palace with uh Joy Wave and the Cold War Kids and the details are at WFBK.org. And uh, we'll see you there tonight. Yeah, Thanks. We'll see Thanks you there. for having us. Yeah. It's ninety one nine WFBK. Here's Mirrorball. Ball.